Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Malika Mugai. And I'm William Moa. Today is Thursday, March 23rd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Senior Ball is coming up on April 8th. Tickets and guest passes are $85. Both can be bought at the student store, and all guest passes are due March 29th. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will need a guest pass in order to attend. The last day to purchase your tickets is on April 5th. Make sure you're not on the no activities list before going. Have you ever wanted to travel to Japan? There's an up, upcoming educational travel experience to Japan in the summer of 2024. Scan the QR code to find all the meeting details and register to save your seat on the trip. You can come here all the details including activities, the cost of the trip, and the EF's risk-free enrollment period at the upcoming informational meeting. Now let's pass it on over to Angelina and Damon for In the News. Hello, okay. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Angelina Doherty, and we're here with your In the News update. The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin. The court alleges he is responsible for war crimes and has focused its claims on the unlawful deportation of children from Ukraine to Russia. It says the crimes were committed in Ukraine February 24th of 2022 when Russia invaded. Moscow has denied the allegations and labeled the warrants as outrageous. It is highly unlikely that much will come of the move since the ICC has no powers to arrest sus suspects and can only exercise jurisdiction within its member countries, and Russia is not one of them. The Silicon Valley Bank, one of the most prominent lenders in the world of technology startups, collapsed on Friday, forcing the Federal Deposit Insurance to take over. This collapse is the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. The FDIC transferred all the deposits of the Silicon Valley Bank to the Silicon Valley Bridge Bank, full-service bridge bank that will be operated by the FDIC as it markets this institution to potential bidders. Up and down the San Francisco Peninsula, heavy rains were flooding streets and high winds knocked down trees, causing power outages. The heavy winds pushed water up to the sidewalks around Oracle Park, and highways made it impossible for a Golden Gate Ferry to take passengers. In Menlo Park, trees were toppled across small side streets and major arteries such as Santa Cruz Avenue. And in Contra Costa County, one of the downed trees derailed an Amtrak train. By late Tuesday afternoon, 246,000 Californians were without power. A teenage student shot and wounded two administrators at a Denver high school on Wednesday after being patted down in a routine safety check. The administrators were both taken to a hospital, with one in serious but stable condition and the other in surgery in critical condition. The body of the suspect, 17-year-old Austin Lyle, was found several hours later in the Colorado woods. That's all the news for today, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. I'm Angelina Doherty. Back, Back to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks for the update, guys. If you think your textbook has any damage, you have seven days to report any damages not previously noted by library staff. If you do not report unnoted damages, you might be held financially responsible. If you want more information, please check the library website. Now let's check out one of our, band, one of our band's performances. Keep up the hard work, guys. 
Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Malaika Mugai. And I'm William Ma. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Cuddly, Cuddly Kitten Day, Wolf Pack.